Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Issa and today we're going to be recreating this eye makeup look right here. It's a springtime look, but I was inspired by... Her name is Carolina and I will link her down in the description box below, but this is the eye makeup look she came up with. I don't know if you guys can see that. But she has like a green glitter and I just love that. Just goes to show that you don't always have to have everything that you see on YouTube or in my videos. You can always just improvise with whatever you have at home, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you don't have green glitter, you can use purple glitter, whatever glitter you guys do have. Just make sure you're not using craft glitter because that will get in your eye and totally cut your eyes open. Okay, not, not cut your eyes open, but it will um, hurt you very badly. So. Be careful with whatever you are using. Um, anyways, I hope you guys love this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Alright guys, first thing I'm going to do is prime the lids with this paint pot from MAC called Painterly, making sure that those extra uh, brows are hidden and that everything is nicely primed and blended in. I'm going to be taking basic just to set the whole entire uh, brow bone to lid area and yeah, just set that all in. Then I'm going to be taking Chris Pot from the same palette. This is the Laura Lee Violet Boss palette and I really like this shade but this one didn't really show up so I used Riches from the same palette and really darkened up that transition shade for you guys in that crease. Make sure everything's nicely blended into the inner corner and outer corner. Since we're going for a halo eye, I opted for a little bit more dimension and I grabbed fried. And I'm just going to take that into the inner corner and outer corner. Of course, this is going to be a lot of blending and defining that inner and outer corner because we're going for a halo eye. So we're running, wanting to make it look more three-dimensional instead of two-dimensional. And I'm just going to blend it out, use flipping motions when there's no more pigment on that brush. Then I'm going to be taking Alabama. This is an awesome shade when you want to just warm it up a little bit without darkening it too much and bring in that brown element. Then I'm going to be taking Whiskers as my last crease shade and I'm going to be defining the inner and outer corner a little bit more than usual and really drag that um, across the eye making sure you make like almost like a rainbow motion like a windshield wiper motion and then uh, blend that out using circular motions and flicking motions. Then I'm going to be taking Yoshi and a, on a synthetic brush, a flat, and push that right into the lid. Make sure everything's nice blended. And then I'm going to be taking this MAC shadow called I Like to Watch and again pushing that right into the lid. This is a really pretty uh, glittery shade. Then I'm just going to make sure everything's blended with a brush and curl my eyelashes, put some mascara on, and then of course, you know I like these lashes, these are the Kiss Lashes in the style 11, they're my favorite. Then I'm going to be uh, grabbing sugar and tickle pink right into that inner corner, and of course you guys know I like to pop that right onto the brow bone as well, just to waken up the eye. Then I'm going to be taking a wipe and just wiping away all the excess fallout. Uh, I magically put on some makeup, used britches and fried right on the lower lash line, popped on some L'Oreal mascara onto the lower lashes, and this is the completed look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I will have everything linked down in the bottom below if you want to know more about this look. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!